and welcome to Ashen. Now, the uh, last couple of seconds of video were just due to the fact that it's bloody impossible you know, OBS to work correctly with this game for whatever reason, so there will be just a little period of uh, fucking nothing happening to start with. This is Ashen. It's, uh, I don't know if it's made by the same people who made Absolver, but it bloody well looks like it. You've got your big lad, you've got your minimalist faces. The god I met earlier had a face. Um, big human-ish face. Don't know if it had eyes exactly, but it uh, certainly looked at me a lot. And then it went back into its cave. Yes, this is Ashen. It's kind of a Dark Souls, but it's a Dark Souls with the buddy system. Which is to say that uh, you don't really get much of an option about uh, whether you have a friend. Guys just kind of follow you about. If you're not a... Uh, and you'll need them too. There's uh it's boring from of all fucking places. Oh, what's it called? Um Army of Two. Yes, boring from Army of Two. There's uh there's places you need to uh ledges you need to climb as a two person unit. Thing doors you need to open by getting your friend there and having him stick in his wrist through the foreboding hole. I have leveled up my axe, which is why I'm flooring these nerds. Don't worry about it. It's not an easy game. God forbid something not be the most testicle gnawing frustration imaginable. Here he is. He's the one guy who just follows me about a bit. He's got a cigar, so you know he's cool. He's looking for his dad, I think. He was looking for his brother originally, but we uh, we found what happened to him, and that's why we're now looking for his dad. He's also equally armed. Yeah, you do, you do. You just have assistance in this. I think there is there's definitely a way to do it with genuine, honest to god multiplayer, or at least it feels like there can't not be. Honestly, they really can't be missing that because that would be madness. You're gonna come a big axe out. Don't even have a block on this. You can't even. You can't even shitty block like you would in Dark Souls. We just kind of hold up the heft of the axe in between you and the guy and pray for fucking rain. No, on this you uh, you either hold a shield in your hand or you don't have the ability to block attacks. And that's, I mean, not the worst thing in the world, honestly. There's a lot of design decisions gone into this. A lot of let's... Uh, you know what? I'm pleased that he doesn't do everything like fucking Dark Souls did. Just a town full of little weirdos who'll sell you healing items as you go onwards. There's a big sky whale that I keep catching glimpses of. I'm yet to see it properly. Just because I don't turn around in the right time. Is that... Yeah, you're coming at me, aren't you, dog? There you are. Eat my big axe, you foul gibbering dink and poop. Look at that guy up there. Oh! There we are. Oh, shit. I actually, I will tell you this, that woman I became aware of because of sound design. I could hear her sneaking up on me. Spearheads are good. You need those for ranged weapons. Well, you need those for ranged weapons worth a damn, at least. Um, you can make the standard spears and then carry nine of those about. Yeah, ranged weapons are exclusively spears. You have to equip them in your melee weapon hand, like this. And if you want to throw one, you have to... It's like a big fucking process. You've got to aim manually. You don't just you don't just fire at whatever you were fucking aiming your stuff at. It's it's awkward. It's it's not ideal, and that feels more interesting. It honestly feels like a better reflection of what it's trying to do than it is a copy of fucking Dark Souls, which is great. And yeah, you know, you've got your Sunny D cask up there. The Sunny D cask of Amontillado that you just gradually fucking slot your delicious, delicious fun time jams into and uh, and gradually increase the number of swigs you get by, I don't know, putting secret pockets into the juice or, I don't know, maybe using, uh, maybe using some of that fucking Vimto extra strength stuff they had for a little while in the 90s before it dissolved all those children's teeth. That may or may not be something I just invented. I honestly don't know. Anyway, um, yeah, as we go forth through this little weird advent- oh shit. 
But yeah, it's all about you building your little town and uh, and like having friends who will do stuff for you and, and g give you access to new items. And so far, so Dark Souls, but they're not just sad about feeling fucking glum for themselves. You aren't the one person in the entire universe who knows the power of positive thinking, which is unfortunately the case in Dark Souls a lot of the time. Now, in the in in this motherfucker. You go home and they're all building houses and shit for themselves. They're having a time. See, the point of this game is, well, you know, that world is, the world used to be much lighter and is now much darker than it, they, everyone would like. But the white god has actually come back. It's the, it's the stirrings of this world as it leaves its fucking apocalyptic scenario. And the pricks who quite liked the apocalypse, ooh, there it goes. The pricks who quite liked the apocalypse are, uh... Apparently trying to get in on everyone's fucking tits about it, and, and thus we must go out and make sure that they don't. Ooh, hello, Solitude. My old friend. I'm gonna have to fight this big lad over here. I see it now, it's still out there. Oh, you know what I will say as well? Because you've got a... because it has like a jump mechanic. I'll, I'll show you this. I am gonna go up that way, I just want to... I would like to show you something. Um, if, because you come, you can come up here, and then you can get in your fucking buddy pose, spring your fucker up there, and now you're up here. Oh, look at it. It's coming straight at me, boys! I haven't actually got a good look at this guy before. I mean, I've seen him in the trailer and everything, but, uh... What a boy. What a good old soul. Ooh, and there's someone down there, isn't there? Ah, uh, fuck it. Alright, I'm gonna go back this way. There's that guy up there who's, uh... I believe I've got an ass kicking burning a hole in my pocket that I want to give him. So let's see if we can fucking sort that shit out. Hello, Bob. Oh, shit! Oh, he did a little hop first! Now, I do know there's a big lad over here, because a god... A, a fucking cave... Oh, shit, okay. A cave god warned me about a big lad in this, so yeah, he's he's a pretty solid bloke. I'll have to go back and get all my stuff back as well now. That'll be fun. Um, yes, a cave god warned me that there was a big lad down here and he used tricks and shit. So I'll have to, uh, so she sent me off for some sticks so I can use the magical sticks to prevent his magical tricks from fucking me up. And then he's just a big lad, which uh, I should be able to kill apparently. Yeah. But um, I don't think that was the big lad because he was... I mean, un before that moment where he smashed my entire fucking brain out and then turned around and lazily killed my best friend with an inst in an instant, I, th I don't think he was... Uh, I mean, he, he certainly didn't remind me of a great deal of magical tricks, is what I'll say. I do need to go back up there and get my fucking magical pocket shit back. Because you lose everything on Ashen. You lose all, the, all your handy items. You don't lose your spears. Two men vigorously gang a hyena. So uh, that one's probably not going in the saga. They'll tell. I'll say that for nothing. Whoop. Or all these like apparently just quite sad-looking vagrants that have populated the world, and they're all technically alive. I mean, this isn't a Dark Souls situation where everyone's zombies. Are you not gonna? What are you birds doing? I would love to know what the deal is with those guys as well, because I've passed a bunch of them, and they're all in. They're all in weird spots. I would love to know what their uh, what their long-term fucking goals are. Are you? Am I gonna need you later? Or are you just fucking background dressing? I mean, they do remind me, admittedly, of the um, the guys in Dark Souls Two in the uh, you know the weird. Dagger witches in Dark Souls 2 who just sat around looking all fucking glum until you uh, until you thawed out the universe and then they started getting up and getting a bit frisky with it. There we go. Have a chug. I will tell you as well. I have been leveling up my uh, my gear. You do need to. Uh, Keep an eye on that stuff, but it's all, it, I mean, it's all the one currency in the game is what makes everything, uh, is what does everything, because games with, uh, 
Games with very high levels of difficulty tend to find themselves with only the one currency, because Dark Souls did it that way, and it worked. Snip over. Yeah, what? Oh shit. I didn't realise quite so many boys! Oh, sh trees in the fucking way there, can't see garbage. On we go. Use one of my consumable fucking health items. Yeah, consumable health items, consumable stamina items as well. Which I'm not sad about, honestly. He's, well, at least he's at least I've bothered him. At least he's mad. Oh shit! Okay, fine. Kill it for the love of God. That's I mean that's not exactly killing it, I suppose. Fair enough. God. Fair enough. Yeah, Ashen. It's nicer than you died, at least. Just a. Hmm. Mm. Jillstones are great locations to connect to other players. What does it mean? I imagine that um, the whole ritual stone situation will become clearer as I progress, because I've actually not got very far into this. The reason I started it first is partially because I fancied a look at it, and um, but I've only played about an hour and a half, as I say. I, I um, met some people, went down a big old hole, met a cave god who lived in a big lake, and they told me to hurry up and get a stick. So I could beat this old guy up, and, uh, and that stick is the quest I'm on now. I am. I do want all my stuff back. But I've lost most of it now. I think. I don't think there's really a way for me to get back the original stuff I lost. Oh, and I will say this as well. Light is a very big deal. Oh shit. Okay. Light is a very big deal in the caves because it's actually you're underground. And it's not one of those magic fucking video game caves where light just kind of is whether you like it or not. There's just no light. So you put your torch away and you're in pitch fucking black with monsters and cliffs. You need the torch. The torch isn't a... The torch isn't an assistance. It isn't, oh, so I can aim my bow a bit further. The torch is, oh, so I have any kind of idea about the fucking perfect blackness that does occur when you're... Deep in a forest god's forest hole. Where's my mate as well? I do have a friend. Can I... Yep. Oof. As you can see, the combat is significantly harder when you're on your Todd. There we are. Dealt with. Now run away. Run away. Run away. See how you do. That guy's got a shield, but he's otherwise not that dangerous. I am still going to have to go fucking through him, though. Hello, bud. Just have to heavy attack him a bit, I guess. Ugh. I mean, you all heard me talk shit about how it wasn't that hard, didn't you? So I, I should have known that this exact scenario would occur. Weren't I just get my ass slapped by... A couple of otherwise non-possessing elderly gentlemen. Because that's exactly what happens every single time I talk down a game's difficulty. Is that a bunch of very frail, not particularly difficult looking enemies walk out and start just... Fucking speed bagging my testicles and then I'm 
you know, forced to accept that that's happening and I'm just as foolish as I was always afraid that I was. Anyway, let's kill these hyenas. I always have, I always have a lot of positivity for hyenas. As they're on one of the very few animals, the only animal I know of, in fact, where the female kind of has a dick. Oh, actually, no. Let's let's be honest with ourselves. Dicks aren't a specifically female thing. I'm, I believe I'm conflating factors there. Um, especially with modern science now, and all those people who talk about fucking flat earthers like they're like they're idiots, and then don't get that like. Actually, we have done, like, at least some research on gender and physical, like, transgender dimorphism and shit like that since the 70s. Sorry. Not necessarily the time or the place for him, because he's dead. Hey, idiot. Why are you run? Do you run for me because of my terrible, terrible reputation for but Fuck off. Get back here. Where are you going? What was so important that you couldn't stick around and have a fight with your old pal Luke? Obey the science, they yell, ignoring the science. But no, wait, no. Only the science that I already know. None of the new science. As we all are aware, the greatest force in science is that we often um, argue really hard against new information. That's often. That's... oh shit. Oh, Jesus Christ, son! My bud! Hmm. Alright, okay. I'm going to have to, uh... First of all, I'm going to have to start talking about, um... Tender subjects. Or tender to people who get... But heard about it, at least. And by that I, of course, mean people who cry because other people elsewhere are having a different life experience. Not people who cry because people are trying to force them into having an incorrect life experience. Or a painful life experience. Which I believe we'd call, in any conceivable um, universe, just bullshit. Just bullshit people. Anyway. Oh, you've, oh, you've showed up this time, my guy. Where'd you get that from? Fucking, I... Jesus Christ, I need to start following you around. You've got all the good shit. Barely know what the fuck's going on. Right, I'm... Alright, I, I actually don't need to go fight that guy. I just need to cross this... Barrier wall? I'm pretty sure I've figured out how I can do that. I don't think I can do it there, though. That, that strikes me as being a bit too fucking easy. So what I'm going to have to do, I think... Yeah, I'll get over this way. Are you gonna follow me? I don't like the lack of dodge, like the total lack of anything resembling a dodge button. Especially because the... Ooh, nice, nice crater there, guy. Especially because the B on my controller is the dodge button, and to be on this particular Xbox 360 controller is a ganky fucking mess. So I might just die because, you know... Because my controller decided it had better things to do than take the input of the man who owns it! I do keep my electrical shit forever, which is why I still have... Which is why I'm still using an Xbox 360 controller that I bought when my Xbox 360 was new. Which have just occurred to me was bought to celebrate my parents' divorce, because I had an edgy childhood. And also, my dad's been married for five years? So it's been like a what? At least five... I don't know if that's literally five years. I'm not thinking about it now. But, um, and by, by not thinking about it now, I'm not, like, horrified by any kind of particularly terrible memories. I'm just trying to play fucking Ashen. I don't want to have to do math at the same time. That seems like a recipe for suicide. Hmm. I will say this for Ashen. Um. I'm not gonna... 
Because you drown, you just fucking drown. You just up and fucking drown if you get too wet. Hello, bud. Hi, oh, Germany. Oh, shit. Thanks for the help, old lady. Are you gonna do it? Oh, shit. You can do it. This is going to be risky, let's do it. Okay. Didn't know if I would make that jump. Still figuring out the, uh, still figuring out the ranges. And that's functionally a homeward bone, is a cra craven remnant. Right, that's into the eye of the needle. Wait, is this where that guy wants me to be? You get different quests from different, oh no, they're all way, way further south. Okay, yeah, I, yeah, I'm going the wrong way, at least there. Um, there's something behind that big guy they don't want me to have. But from what I can see there, what is behind him is functionally... Shit, don't drown, you daffy sod. Oh god, alright, okay, I might be drowning. Might just drown here. Um, see, I'm kind of just, like, tickling the edge in such a way that I'm not drowning. It's not eating my stamina like it should be. Oh, I hate fucking games in which drowning is a mechanic. Don't let me fucking drown, you idiot. Yeah, there we go. So what I might have to do is just forget about that shit that that big turbo murder up there is gonna is gonna kill me if I go near him again. So I might just not go near him again. No! Okay. Where's that guy who's meant to be my goddamn best bud who I love? He's over... Where is he? I can't see him for... I can't see him anywhere. I'm surrounded by psychopaths. Veritably hunted. By both monsters and men. Which is the foulest combination because you can't even make like a decent moral point half the time. The most dangerous monster is definitely monster, by the way. Let's not fuck about here. I'm gonna eat this. I've got my big... I've got my big axe. Oh, they've all just kind of abandoned it, except for this old coot. He's now dead. I know I'll, I know how to summon him back into existence. I don't know where my good buddy is, but I know how to get him back. It's with a song. And by a song, I mean I'll climb up here. Where's the brace? Tell me to brace for my for my bud. Where have they just gone? Are they? What's going on? Oh, do I need my stuff back to get him back? That can't be the case. I'm gonna go and go and get it, and then I'm gonna run away. Nah, you're good. We're good. We're good, he's not killing me. I'm not actively being murdered, which is the same thing as being safe. So I've heard. Up there? Can I? Use the... I mean, I'm kind of glitching my way up a wall here. I'm kind of... no, okay. Where's the dude? Why isn't there a dude? Where's my dude? Don't know how that works. Use multiplayer filter, disable multiplayer, layer companion. Turn that on and off again, that might have helped something somewhere. Yeah, I knew that guy was behind me and I did nothing. Which I think you'll find is the best part of strategy. Shit. Well, at least that's an easier place to go get my fucking corpse from. Good lord, I'm having a hard time. Where's the guy gone? I had a guy. There was a guy there. Maybe he died. He might have been mugged. And I didn't go and save him. Ah, oh, drop times don't stay forever. Yeah, you've got a you've got a limited inventory as well, which is funny. Like it's a weird 
choice and you can either make that hike all the way back up to where your chest is or just decide what you're going to discard and like weapons and armor also take up those slots so it's not like Dark Souls where you have a full collection of every sword you've ever come across just in your cloak. It's uh, you do kind of have to travel a bit lighter than that if you want to uh, if you want to be picking up new stuff, and you will want to be picking up new stuff because because it's a video game in which there is more than one suit of armor. You're gonna want to hold on to the the new stuff. You're gonna come and get me. Oh, there he is. Glad. Yep. I'm not sure what happened there just because of the uh we're having some fucking jaggies there for a minute. Yeah there he is, there's the bud. Follow me guy. You still following me guy. Alright. But yeah, you just have a companion because a lot of this game needs one. You'll need one to open certain doors or climb certain ledges. And as a result, you just kind of have one. And I don't know what the multiplayer is like. I don't know how to do the actual go meet another human being multiplayer. I don't think it's going to have the same... Uh, I don't think it's going to have the same amount of stuff as Dark Souls just because... I mean, there's not really... A lot of character customization. You pick a haircut and a beard, and uh, whether you want your body to be feminine or masculine, and those three choices have no overlap with each other, which is fucking great because you can choose to have a feminine body and a beard, which is what I've always wanted, and I didn't do it on this one because I didn't know that it would be an option until I tested it later. After which I already made this grum piece of god grum fucking. I don't know. I didn't actually have a fun joke. Usually I have a fun joke, but uh. No such goddamn luck. And I mean luck because there is no skill involved. Get out of it, you whimpering old dick. There we are. Not too hard. There's me fucking soul crystal or what have you. Gunk. Nope. Gotta actually touch him. I don't know what the fuck a scorier is, but here we are. Oh, scorier is your currency. Which I guess is literally a currency. And not like, you know, souls or ash pellets or whatever the fuck it might be. Come on, bud. Yep. I don't know why I have to phase through that wall every time I want to climb it, but here we goddamn is. Oh, shit. Okay. Can I just climb there as well? Is that an option? No. Let me just climb here as well. Oh, yeah. Ah, yes. The final stage of Dark Souls 3. Jesus Christ, it fucking is as well, isn't it? It's a twisted goddamn city. That's nonsense. Alright, that's... I guess I had this. Oh shit! That well, that just fucking emerged, didn't it? Jesus Christ! Rendered you in, you giant bastard! Hey guy, kill it! Hey guy, guy, you might want to guy, dude, friend, the the other play, the guy. Where's my guy? Where is he? Fuck! Yeah, that wasn't gonna go well for me at any at any fucking point in its development. I think. Who are you, you? Fucking stony old bitch. Okay. Alright. Oh! Shit. Okay. Well, it's a... It's a fine wake-up call, I guess. Can I just leave this thing? I mean, is it, how far is it going to fo follow me? Where's the guy? Where's my guy? Is he dead? Have you fucking killed him? Yeah, the... Yeah, okay. Yep, because that's the sweep, and the other one's the poke. That's the poke. There we go. Sweep. Poke. Corpse. 
Hmm. Mysterious object. Somebody's fucking coin purse. Let's get out of here. Oh, great, another one. I kind of hoped you'd be, like, a rare item, honestly. I kind of hoped you'd be something uncommon. And I don't want to go anywhere else because I don't want to run away and just incite more of these fucking things to show up. Am I safe here? Can I just... Oh, I'm, oh, okay. I'm stood on it. I'm stood on it. It's trapped me. I'm trapped against the wall. I'm quite weak now. I'm going to probably get over here. Oh boy. Oh boy. Alright, okay. I'm gonna have to climb here. And climb up here. Oh shit! Oh no, it couldn't actually get me up there, could it? It just thought it could. An asshole might. Fuck! No, it can! It can! Bye! I'm off inside. Oh shit. Oh, it's this! It's an asshole and his dog! Yeah, I heard that. I heard that coming. Huh. I was fucking timing my dodges based on that guy's grunts of exertion. So yeah, no, I I I like how sound carries. Take this, you old villainous piece of garbage. Oh shit. They're not a good melee weapon, dude. You really want, like, a short sword or something if I get that close. What's up here? I'm on my own. My friend is dead. What's... Oh, fuck off! Oh, I can hear its fucking... clinkers! Eat this, you terrible animal. I can hear it, like... With the headphones on as well, it sounded like it was crawling on my fucking ears. That was very unpleasant. Right, yeah, I know one of them's out here. Oh, Jesus Christ! Oh, gee! Oh, he's back! The lad! The boy! The man, the hero, the legend. Still fucking hear that, though. Oh, that is unpleasant. That's an unpleasant noise. Oh, he's dead. There it comes. Oh, go away. Do I have to deal? Must I? Must I hunt you? I must. Sadly, I must. Uh, vomit your crap somewhere else, bud. Okay. Stick with me this time, chum. Alright. I'm gonna go and get that first. No, no, that's obviously a trap, actually, isn't it? Fuck it. Yep! <laughs> Poke! Here we go. Easy enough. Yeah, for nothing as well. Yeah, because that's how... Yeah, that's how that works. Okay. Oh, there you are. And see meeting you here, you gross fucking one long-armed... Gross little idiot. Nothing here? Okay. Yeah, this, ju this just gets a lot darker. It gets a lot darker. The places where it gets dark. It's real fucking dark. Which I'd like, actually. Honestly, I think that's a big, uh, big point in the game's favour. Oh, do I have to? Oh, I see. I can climb up this way. Tower, Tower of Nomen. Ogonolmen. How do I get up there? All right, I can't climb that way. I climb this. I think I can probably get up. But uh, yeah, yeah, the stairs here, okay. Run well, now, I'm up there, don't I? Oh, fuck off, Jim.
I like having a friend. I like having a friend because it means you feel twice as fucked when he's not there as well. Like, it's an interesting change to the... It doesn't just change how you feel when you've got your mate there. It also changes the texture of the game when you are alone. Which is a nice kind of... It's a nice addition to fucking experience. It's a nice other thing that can happen. It's a nice disadvantage. It's not a nice advantage because... You know, giving you an advantage in a game like this is, is blasphemy, apparently. No, it's a nice disadvantage when he's gone. That's how I'm choosing to think about it and no one can stop me. It's inside my head, you motherfuckers. Alright. Oh god! I heard something grunt, and it grunted like something with not the right kind of mouth. There it is. There we are. Oh, and that's the. He's having fun. Oh, okay. Oh, come off it, you. Gross fucking alright. Let's go fishing. What's it trying to do? It's like fishing with its leg. I mean it was. Now it's just dead. Ooh, maybe there's a way up. Oh shit! Kill it! Kill it! Kill it now! God please! Please hit it! Jesus! Oh! Oh God! Oh! It was trying to eat me for a minute there. That was grotesque. There's not even anywhere I can go up here. Is there? No, it's a trap. No, it's, j it's where I was a second ago. God damn it! All right. Ooh! Hate these fucking things. I mean, I'm gonna kill every single goddamn one of them, but I'll, I'll still never feel clean again. What's the point? Um, should I be there? I think I should be there. Should I be through here? No. Oh, I see. Oh, I see. Okay. Okay. I'm trying. I'm just trying to figure out this building. So I think where I should be is quite near. No, totally wrong. Fuck me. All right. Okay. Totally wrong fucking structure. Just wasting my own goddamn time, okay. Alright, yeah, I should be over there. Ooh, okay. Have ourselves a fucking peep. Ooh. Okay, here we are. A legion of boys. Get it through the door. Do I have any health items at all? I do not. Well. I have this. Let's have this. <sighs> now, do you have any... Uh, no, of course you don't. It's not that kind of a video game. You can't just give me some fucking Snickerses. That'd be absurd. Alright. Push on or use a magical go home stick. Push on. Well, fuck. I'm at a boss, I guess. Fuck you, boss. All right, let's do this. I think. Are you gonna? Yeah, you, of course you are. Yeah, you're a boss, dude. Come. Oh shit. I just go and get the item while she's just. I can't. I can! Ha! Huh? Eat a dick, you idiot! We. That's what I call non linear game design!
I mean, I won, technically, because... Fuck it, honestly. Give me a sec. Sorry, sorry about the delay there. Give me a sec. Alright. Okay, this is probably going to be the end of this particular fucking episode of uh, Luke Plays Hollywood Metal Plays Ashen. We'll be back on it. We'll be back on it next week for more ash -y fucking surprises. Might live a little bit more this time. Anyway, that's it. Um, bye, it's pretty good. Yeah. Bye.